Hey, what's up, YouTube? I wanted to do a video on uh, hooking up my uh, LED yard light, uh, barn light, some of you might call it. Uh, here it is. Small little light. Uh, there is an option for these lights on Amazon. You can get uh, the tube that fits right inside of here and it gives it a little extension maybe extends it six inches off the wall and uh, give you a little more light but uh, so this is a after dawn light so as soon as it gets dark it'll come on and the reason why I bought this one is because as you can see the sensors in the front here in Canada we get a lot of snow and uh, a lot of the sensors are made on the top and uh, basically, yeah, you got a lot of snow and then you're stuck climbing a ladder and cleaning that sensor off all the time to make sure it's not on 24 hours a day. Of course, it doesn't take much power anyway. I think it uh, uses 33, 35 watts of power. So yeah, what I'm going to show you is uh, just a short video. A couple of wires to hook up. And uh, yeah, stick with me. So what you want to do here, you want to find, well, make sure you have a solid base to screw into. So I know right here I have a 2x4, yeah, must be a 2x4 inside of here. So basically what I'm going to do, put that there and uh, put some screws that come with the kit. Phillips screws. Alright, as you can see I got one screw in, another screw, two more screws to go on the bottom. And of course, this guy here, right here. I don't like using screwdrivers unless I'm I really, really have to. So I have this. It's my DeWalt. Then I got this attachment from DeWalt. <clears throat> and I got my uh, socket adapter. As you can see, throw that in there, put my screwdriver bit, snap that on, and I'm not sure if I can do this without screwing this in, but I'm definitely going to try, but I'll give these a look, see? perfect angle this little tool I use this so much on oh everything I do mechanic wise anything sometimes uh, you're working on a transmission a transfer case or doing anything and you just don't have the room to fit your impact in that spot you put that little adapter on and oh, sometimes you get those little nuts that are cross started or something like that and this here is just a lifesaver so yeah, here we go. And there you have it. I got them in. This one here, of course, I tightened it a little too much and snapped the end off, but it's still really nice and tight. It's, it's not gonna affect anything. It's, as you can see, the screw still got a little bit of grip. But uh, yeah, when I got this light, well, I just got it today, and uh, there's this little bracket. It's like a cap that uh, covers your wires in any way, and there's a, a little threaded machine on the side built on right there. I'm not sure if you can see it. And I tightened that bolt too much and broke that too. So I'm not really knowing what kind of quality this is going to be. Anyway, I'm going to write Amazon and see what they have to say about that, and who knows, maybe I'll get a new one. So here's my three wires. I got a, a white, a black, and a green. Uh, so basically, you're gonna, all you're gonna do is hook your your uh, white with your white. Uh, man, this is not focusing. Your uh, black with your black, and this is your ground. And uh, as you can see, I had a motion light here uh, before. I just took it off, 
And uh, so what my plan will be with this, I'm gonna run these wires up all nice and clean. And uh, actually maybe I should have put this down a little bit lower and then I could have ran them right inside and had my junction box. That would have been an idea. Or, aha, there we go. What I'll do, I've got these long enough. I'll make a nice little uh, entry up inside. I'll take that bolt back out and I'll uh, tuck all these wires up inside of this little box. And then uh, for that hole up there until Amazon decides to make, give me an answer on what's going to happen with this hole, I'll probably just wrap some tape around it, keep some moisture and stuff out. All right. So these wires here. This is the wire coming from the light. This is my main wire. So for this wire here, you want to make sure you wrap that around your main wire going inside to your breaker panel the proper way. Uh, so basically what you want to do is, so you got to put this cap on. So I start this wire over and I kept following it this way here. That way there, when you put this cap on, this cap tightens counterclockwise. So as you're putting that cap, you want this cap to make sure it's following these the proper route of these wires. So basically these wires are just going to get tighter and tighter and tighter and clamp on to this main wire going inside the garage. <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> as you can see here what I did, I uh, individually put uh, some black electrical tape on each one of these. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take all three of these and I'm going to tape them together. Um, I don't really know if, I'm not an electrician so I don't really know if this is, you have to do this for code or outdoor lights or whatever but I usually do it. Uh, you know, weather protection, snow, rain, you never know what can get into there and contaminate, corrode, whatever. So uh, yeah, I'm going to tape all these up, situate them all up inside there, and like I said, put some uh, black tape around that hole for now. Let's see what Amazon has to say. Maybe I'll get a new light. Alright, so as you can see here, I got it all, got them all tucked up in. Uh, there was this little flap, what I did, I bent that up over, and I just put a, a shit ton of black electrical tape around keep the moisture and stuff out I ran the wire up all nice and clean against the wall now my next step what I'm going to do I got some uh, uh, mono here black mono that's all I got and I cut out this piece to fit in that hole I know it's not really the proper way to do it but I'm going to put that in uh, put some uh, silicone around moisture from going in that hole and uh, I'll be all done so there you have it I got her all silicone she's not the prettiest job uh, cover the light it takes a second for it to come on I don't know why you must want to know that it's really dark and there we go so lights up and uh, oh, there we go it's off already uh, so yeah not the prettiest job but like I said it's uh, it's gonna do the do the job for now and uh, hopefully within the next year or so I'll have uh, some siding on it and uh, I'm gonna see how well that light does and if it does really well then I might get the extension bracket and uh, I'm gonna move it up uh, before I put the siding on, I'll probably move it up to about the center between the, set, the top of the door and the peak. I'll put it right around the center, right around there. And uh, yeah, uh, what I'll do, I'll run the wire inside the garage. This is just like a, a temporary kind of fix, just to have a light outside the garage. Because it's, uh, as you can see, the, the house is quite a, quite a walk away. So uh, when I'm 
walking back and forth, especially in the winter. Gets dark at, you know, I don't know, 4.30 in the winter, 5 o'clock in the wintertime. It's, it's pretty black, so it's nice to see what you're doing. And I do a lot of plowing in the winter. So uh, when I'm plowing in the winter, I usually leave my, uh, my old square body back here and uh, plugged in. And uh, to get that going in the winter, sometimes uh, that old 6.2, she just doesn't want to burrow. She doesn't want to fire up. So at least I'll have a, hopefully a good light to, uh, to see what I'm doing. And uh, I'll, I'll give you an update later on how that light's going to work. Take her easy. Oh, here's the light. First night. Lights up the air pretty good. For a 35 watt uh, daylight. Daylight light, I guess. Not bad. Anyway, if you like this video, uh, guys, uh, make sure you uh, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks a lot.